this right here, this tells me that they were drilling core, inserting dynamite, and then blasting out this hole right here. Welcome back to another Natural Stones episode where today we're gonna be exploring this abandoned iron mine. This is why we're here. This is the tailings pile of the mine workers where they just throw the stuff they don't want away. Right here is your base rock. It is a granite that is interspersed within a, a giant nisic mountain so the whole mountain is a nice but the background host rock is, is this granite here interspersed you have veins of pegmatites that form rocks like this feldspar feldspar magnetite this magnetite is a mineral that is iron ore along with hematite and pyrite i think magnetite is the one with the most iron in it magnetite is fe3 oxygen four so once you burn off that oxygen you can create steel after you crush this up a bunch eventually i'm going to try it and a lot of this tailing pile here is full of solid magnetite blocks you've got chunks of rock here just full of iron oh come over here check this out check this out you see this right here this Yummy brown stuff coming out of the side of the wall. Oh yeah, there it is. This is called acid mine runoff. As you can see, this is what you would call rust. Like your car is full of this if you live in a state that salts the roads. And uh, the water coming down here causes the minerals to oxidize. And this, you know, obviously tells us that there's a lot of iron rich minerals around here because it's so orange and oxidized. Yuck. As you can see, I'm 6'4", so this is probably about five feet tall. Echo! <laughs> Before we even get in here, you have big chunks of older sized plagiclase feldspar crystals here interspersed with your pyroxene and the magnetite. Some of the host rock around here is slightly magnetic because of the small concentrations, but the big concentrations we want here is like this. I can just stick the magnet right up there and it won't move. The magnet really wants to stick there and does not want to pull off, but this plagioclase feldspar, this mineral, is not magnetic. So when I put the magnet up there, it should it should fall. There we go. See how it just fell? <laughs> the plagioclase feldspar is not magnetic. Let's go check out this this iron mine in here. Whoa. There's a fish in here! Look! <laughs> I love playing that prank on people when I bring them in here. <laughs> There's a fish in the cave. <laughs> There's no fish in this cave. Acid mine drain, kill it. All right, it's wet, it's so wet. <laughs> oh, this is cool, come check this out. Can the camera see this? Oh, that's a giant spider! Oh my god. That's crazy! Get away from it, please. Look at that, that thing. Is my okay, as you can see, this is the host rock right here. Touch the spider. I won't touch the spider. This is the host rock, the pegmatite, and this right here, cutting it in half, literally, is it's basalt, and that means it's cooled really quickly. And the other half is over here. Basically, it split a crack in the hose rock. See how it's not magnetic? It's probably not a part of what the miners were looking for. The small ones are easy to find, like this guy here. But here we go. Stuff like this is what we want to see. This whole thing, solid magnetic rock. Whoa! Okay, yeah, you gotta see this. This one, this one's good. That's what they're after. They obviously missed some of it. And uh, also, I want to thank you for watching this Natural Stones episode where we discovered this iron mine and collected some iron ore, magnetite. Stay tuned for future videos. Isn't that cool?
Well, boom. Kaboom. See you in the next one. <laughs>